Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to TPN Rainmaker. You find me in my garage as I normally am here these days. In this video, we're gonna show you 11 hidden features or 11 things that you may not have known about the Porsche Cayenne 958. Now the Cayenne 958 was made from 2011 to 2018. So I do apologize if some of these things you maybe do know, some of them may be quite obvious, but I guarantee there will be a selection of people who just don't know these things about this car. Oh, before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss a single thing. You can also follow TPN Rainmaker on Instagram and on Facebook. Okay, so who wants to know what happens when you remove the key while driving the car? Yeah, I wanna know what happens as well, but I'm gonna save that till the very end of the video. So the first thing is a key trick. Using the key of your car, keep the unlock button pressed in and you'll see all of the windows come down. On the reverse of that, press your lock key, keep that pressed in, and you'll see all of the windows go up. Now there is absolutely no need to dangle the fuel cap like that when it comes with a handy little holder just there. It's just a little hole, and you pop it in like that. Now the car does have a hidden menu. It took me six months to realize this, so I do apologize if you already know about this. Let me show you. So if we start the car, put the key in, start the engine, this is the menu screen that we're gonna be looking at here, okay? And we're gonna be using this toggle button here. So we've got, we need to scroll down to the area which tells us the vehicle, the vehicle title. And then we can press this button here and we can go into it and it releases a new menu. So we've got information, we can look at messages, service intervals, and then you can look at levels for ride heights, things like that. Uh, oil levels, you can, it's saying okay, but it does look quite low at the minute. Um, limits, you can set limits on the vehicle. Settings, you can set displays, time and date, uh, light and visibility, locking, air conditioning, steering wheel operation, volume, units, and language, and reset. So you can reset all of those. Uh, so that is the hidden menu system, which as I say, it took me about six months to realize that even existed. So this is another little key trick. You've got your key. Imagine this scenario, the battery on your only key has died, the car is locked. How on earth do you get into the car? Well, what you need to do is look at your key here and you've got a little slot here, which you can pull out an additional key, okay? Now, even when you've got the key, there's, no, there's nowhere to put it. So there's a little slot underneath here, which you put the key into, force it in and what should happen if you've got it the right way is this panel should come off completely so you can take the key out there now you've got an area to put the key into and unlock the door now the car actually has four 12 volt power supplies we've got one right there one just behind it right there underneath the passenger's footwell we've got one right there and in the boot we've got one right there now i don't know how many of you have actually tried this but you cannot drive the car when it's in the low suspension setting so what a lot of people try to do is they put it in the low suspension setting and they'll see if it works so they'll start driving away but the car will automatically put it into the standard middle suspension setting which automatically leads you to think that you can't drive the car in the lowered suspension setting, but actually you can. What I would do is when it gets back to there, you can put it back into this suspension setting, which is the lower or the middle lower one, if you like. Once it's in this uh, setting here, you can actually start driving and it will stay in this setting while driving. So let me just show you what this looks like. And I think that's a pretty good low suspension setting. While we're on the subject of suspension, you can use this kit to actually adjust the suspension settings and adjust the ride height of the car with this tool. It's a diagnostic package. I'm gonna put the link to this in the description below this video. In a nutshell though, you need to go to service, you need to go to suspension, and then we'll find Porsche, manual selection, select your vehicle, hot functions, suspension, continue, continue again, and then this is where you can set your settings. So left front, you've got 400 for all of them. You know, you could go in and change these to say uh, 450 or 459, 
or whatever and you could go through them all and then it would change the suspension height you can have it in a higher setting or a lower setting this is the only tool that i'm aware of that can actually do this i know there's a tool called the durometric which can do it on the 955 and the 957 this is the only tool i'm aware of that can do it on the 958 the durometric can't do it on the 958 but i will put a link to this kit in the description below this video now if you don't want to mess around with the suspension settings but you do want to be able to read live engine data read fault codes clear warning lights on the dashboard then this is the tool we'd recommend you can also do lots of other things like oil reset electronic park and brake new battery registration dpf regeneration steering angle sensor calibration electronic throttle calibration as well it gives you instant access and allows you to read codes in all of these systems engines transmission psm which is the abs the airbags look at all of these systems air conditioning parking brake steering system driver's doors passenger doors adaptive cruise control level controls you name it this tool will do it and also live data for the dpf which is really important if your car does have the dpf filter installed into the vehicle I'll put this kit in the description below this video as well. So if you're gonna be fitting a child seat to the car, you need to deactivate the airbags. You can do that by simply taking the key out of here and slotting it in there. And that turns off the airbags for the front passenger seat. How are we doing? I'm still here. There's a button on the rear view mirror. If you press this, it turns off the auto dim function. You'll see a little LED come on when you turn it on and when you turn it off. Press the button and it turns off the auto dim function. Now at the start of the video, I asked you if you wanted to find out what would happen if I removed the key from the car while driving. We're about to find out. So I'm gonna start it from stationary. We're driving now. I'm gonna get up to maybe about 20 miles an hour see what happens all right 20 miles an hour keys coming out engine's gone off everything has gone off move gear steering is very very difficult now uh, it's, oop, suspension seems to have gone and brakes are okay actually still got brakes but obviously I can't start the car I couldn't start the car because you can only start the car when it's in park so to put it into park it's automatically started and then we'll move it back into drive. Let's try that again. That was quite interesting that. What it wouldn't let us do is actually remove the key. Obviously you can only remove the key when it's in the park position. So we kind of should have knew that. But let's go again. Doing over 20 miles per hour. Key off. Yeah, try and start again. Oh, it's actually given us it there. It's allowed us to do it that time. So you can actually turn the key off. You get a bit of a jerk, but if you start it again without putting your foot on the brake, there we go. It's allowed us to carry on with the engine. The engine has continued to run. Well, it's gone off and then it's, it's allowed us to start it again so long as the vehicle is actually operating. So that's all right, actually, pretty good. Now, of course, nobody's ever gonna do that in the real world, but I was curious just to know what would happen if I tried it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I certainly had fun putting it together. And ultimately, I hope you've learned something or maybe found out something about your Cayenne that you didn't previously know. But if you've got something that you think I haven't mentioned and you think would be worthy of going on this list, then by all means, please put a comment in the box below and add your suggestion to the list that maybe uh, that I can do another version of this video with completely different things that people don't know about this car. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click that like button. As I say, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Just search for TPN Rainmaker and you'll see me pop up. I really appreciate you watching this video. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.